Hi, you guys. It's me, Kiana, coming at you again today. I wanted to talk to y'all about something. I don't understand why it's a double standard with men um, and women. And men feel as though they don't have to take care of themselves, but women have to. And the thing is, even if a man doesn't physically say it out of his mouth, because A, he may not have the balls to say it, because he knows who to say it to, okay, without repercussions or for reper with repercussions, okay. Uh, men are very observant in that way. See, they observe it when they want to be observant. They observe it when it's beneficial to them. Don't get it twisted, okay. So, they either say it, have the balls to say it, and deal with the repercussions, or B, they don't have the balls to say it. Or B, they just not rude enough. Or C, they just not rude enough to say it. Okay. So we've established, you know, the type of man that's going to say it and the type of man that's not. But it's an underlying issue all the time with all men. I don't care if you walk around the house looking like who done it and why. You be like, oh, my man has set me for me. No, but, but what he actually doing is he's tolerating it. A, because he love you. B, because maybe he can't get no better. Or C, he already got better. It's just that you the one that has, is his main chick or the one that got the kids by him. Or you wifey. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay? But truth be told, when they go out in the street, they looking at the chick to take care of herself. They looking at the chick to make sure she keep, you know, her hair done. You know, nails done, make sure they manicured and all that kind of stuff. They looking at the chick with the outfit that match and coordinate. They looking at the chick with the heels on. You know what I'm saying? They they looking at that. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Take it whatever way you want. Think that, oh no, he loves me for me. He loves me whether I'm fixed up or not. Okay, yes, they love us. I'm not saying that. Please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. They love us. But they want you to keep yourself looking a certain kind of way. That's the truth. Whatever your man values, that's what they want to maintain. Example, if your man only likes small or medium-sized chicks, if you gain weight, yeah, he's still going to love you. But really, rightfully, I'm going to tell you the truth. He wished you probably was back to that size that was ideal for him. Because that's what in his head is ideal. That's what beauty is in his head. Now, yes, he loves you. Yes, he's going to adapt to, you know, still finding you attractive and all that. Because he sees you more than just your physical body. But if he could choose, trust and believe me, that's what he would want. So I'm using that as an example because, you know, um, I don't understand why it's a double standard. I don't understand why they can walk around looking like who done it and why, and we can't. Or if we do, we got to worry about them strand, or what they think as far as how we look, or their disappointment, or all these kind of things, because we as women, we do have these things rolling out here. We don't like to tell them this, and you shouldn't tell them, because see, that's giving the man too much control. You should never tell a man that you're concerned about stuff like that. Mm-mm, don't do that. No, because what he going to think is, yeah, I got to. And if he a man that he loves you, but he likes to manipulate, then what he's going to do is he's going to use that against you. In one way, shape, or form. Men can love you, but they still like to manipulate because it's a way for them, not because they don't love you, it's a way for them to, to keep and gain control. I'm going to tell you the truth. So, that's why sometimes men will play on that kind of stuff. It's not that they want you to walk around with low self-esteem or nothing. But if your head is not too far up in the clouds, you see what I'm saying? That's beneficial for them because then they don't have to worry about you straying. They don't have to have those insecurities. You understand what I'm saying? Are you following me? Okay. But I don't like the fact that men, they will walk around, you know, um... Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I got a foot thing. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay? I got to have a man with a foot fetish. I'm sorry. I got to have it. I got to have it in my life. I got to have it. Alright? Because 
I like my feet. My feet are very pretty. And I keep them done to a T. The polish got to be perfect on them. I don't do that chip tag kid, chip polish. I don't do that. Uh-uh. Got to be real cute French manicure or either real pretty petal pink. Yeah. Or real sexy hot pink. Yeah, it got to be like that. I don't be doing no blues and them crazy colors. No, nah, that's, nah, that's not me. So I got to have somebody that embrace that and make it worthwhile. All my efforts. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't like it because my husband don't have one. He don't have a foot fetish. And I'm like, this is the first man i ever been with that don't have one. And I don't like it. Mm -mm. I can't get with it. it. I can't get with it. And because he don't have a foot fetish, he can get all crusty on here. Uh-uh. Don't keep them socks on. I don't want to see it. Don't have nothing flaking off my bed because I will make you sleep on the couch if I see any flakes or anything on my bed. No. See, that's the thing. If a man don't have a foot fetish, he more than likely don't take care of his. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. That's, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Y'all know we've been married for less than two years, and he going to have to get that together. He going he gonna to have to get that together because in all my years, I ain't never been with nobody like that. And I ain't never had nobody not embrace having a foot fetish. And, yeah, that's that's not beneficial to me. And, yeah, I can't deal with that. So, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Y'all call me what y'all want. Call me spoiled rotten. Call me crazy. Call me a freak. Whatever. But, I have to have somebody with a foot fetish. You gotta, you, you, mm, I, I, I gotta have it. My, I gotta have it in my life. It's like, it's just not exciting if you don't have one. It's not, no, that's like an extra, mm, mm that's like an extra bonus. You know what I'm saying? I like bonus rewards. I like CVS bonus bucks. I like Walgreens register rewards. And I like Rite Aid plus ups. And I need that kind of bonus in my life too. Okay, I need those, I need all them bonuses. I want all of them. Give me all that you got. And I don't understand. I, I, like I said, back to, I don't understand why men think that they, now I guarantee you, I guarantee you that if I didn't take care of my feet, oh, he would have all kinds of little comments. Little sly comments on the side. See, that's what they do. They make little sly comments on the side. You know what I'm saying? They make little sly comments. Oh, but you can walk around like Krusty the Clown. Uh-uh, no. Mm-mm. See, he got the wrong one. He got the wrong one, and any other one's got the wrong one. Because, see, I know how they are. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm always on my A-game, because I know men. You ain't gonna have me, you ain't gonna be talking about me to your aunts and your sisters and all. Uh-uh, no, you ain't gonna have me like that. Mm-mm. You can't say Kiana walk around the house looking crazy. No, because Kiana, as soon as she gets up, gets it all together. Head to toe. That's right. I'm in the house. Yeah, I'm in the house, but I ain't looking crazy. You won't have me up. Uh, uh You won't have me talking about me to your mother and your aunts and cousins and all. Oh no, 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 not not I said the cat. You won't have me saying. Mm -mm. You won't have me like that. Cause if it if it winds up being over later on in life or whatever, you'll say that you had a good one. You'd be like, you know what? She had too much mouth, but the girl was bad. She took care of home, took care of herself, took care of clothes, hand washed clothes. Because, yeah, I hand wash this. Yup. Ringing them right on out, just like your grandmother do. Yes, I do. Scrub them socks. Put some shout out on it, like I did last night on his socks. Yeah. I, yeah. You going to, when, when it's all said and done, you ain't going to have me, you, you talking about me up in the divorce court. Talking about some she ain't know how to do this, she ain't know how to do that. No, you won't have me like that, buddy. You know what you're going to be able to say? Yeah, um, I lost my wife, but she was a good one. Have a nice day, stamp it. That's all you're going to be able to say. You ain't going to have no list of she don't know how to cook, she don't know how to clean, she ain't wash her butt. Oh, no, 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 you won't have me like that. Because they do talk, they don't talk about it with their boys because they ain't be embarrassed. But they will talk about it with their mamas. They will talk about it with their sisters. And then you wonder why the mama don't like you. 
or the sister don't like you. Because he done told how you don't know how to keep a house. He done told how you walk around with one string of hair up in your head and the rest just looking like dreadlocks all around. Yeah, he done told all that. I'm going to tell you the truth. Y'all know I'm going to tell you the truth. And if, if it's about men, I know it. I'm going to tell you that now. Why? Because I had a lot of male friends. I've also had men in my life. And I sit back and watch and observe them. If you sit back and watch people, they will tell on themselves. All the stuff that they think is going to come out eventually. It's the question is, are you observant enough to see it? That's all it's about. Because, see, we want we see what we want to see. You see what I'm saying? When we all in a relationship or something, we see what we want to see. The brain has a is a very powerful organ. It's a very powerful organ. And we see what we want to see because we in love and we all hemmed up emotionally and mentally and physically. So that take that that plays into why we see what we want to see. But no, you got to come to a place where you in love you hemmed up emotionally, physically, and, and 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 spiritually and everything else. But you also can see. You ain't got no blinders on. So, I'm sorry, I was doing something. Something came up on the screen. But so, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you like a T.I. is. And like I said, when it's all said and done, if it ever comes to it, all you could say is, you know what, I had a bad chick. Couldn't keep her, but I had a bad one. Because my chick knew how to do any and everything. And don't get offended when I say chick, you guys, because that's just a term that I use. It means nothing. It, don't have to read into it. Okay? It's a lot worse that people call each other out there. Trust and believe me. Y'all already know. Okay? So, yeah. So, I don't like the double standard. I don't like it that they think they can walk around like that. Because we, t I'm going to talk about you. You think you're going to walk around like that. And I ain't going to say nothing to you in your face. Until I get tired of it. And then I will say something to you in your face. But, yeah. I'm going I'm to hold it in. And just and just let it fester probably. And then I'm going to be like, look. Let me, let me sit you down and talk to you. Okay. Something need to be done. So, on that note. I just wanted to come to tell y'all that. Yes, I got to have a man with a foot fetish. Mama got pretty feet. <laughs> and you know what? You could tell by somebody's hands what their feet look like. If you got all long, skinny, ugly, raggedy, you know, alienation looking hands. Yeah, your feet jacked up too. Your feet ugly. You could tell by somebody's hands what their feet look like. That's why I always look at somebody's hands. Yeah, I want to. I want to know. It matters to me. Yes, it does. Some people care about weight. Some people care about complexion. Some people care about hair texture. I care about some of those too. But you, you yeah, your feet can't be. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, it can't. And don't try to put them on me if they is jacked up. Do not try to put them on me because I'm going to get really, really offended. I'm offended just talking about it right now. Anyway, let me go, y'all. Alright, <laughs> be blessed y'all.